Hey everyone, it's Dorothy from crazyforcrust.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make my mom's classic pecan pie recipe. Now, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without pecan pie. It also wouldn't be my daughter's birthday or pretty much any time of year without pecan pie in my house. We love it that much. So I'm gonna show you how to make this easy classic that everyone loves. You have those recipes that you just come back to again and again and again? That's this easy classic pecan pie recipe. It's my mom's recipe that she got when she was in home ec way back when she was in high school. And we've been eating it every single year for Thanksgiving and Christmas ever since. You start with three large eggs. To the eggs, you're going to add dark corn syrup, add your melted butter, granulated sugar, salt. Now, if I have one complaint about pecan pie, it's that the filling sometimes can be a little bit like jelly-ish, and that's something that's a teeny tiny bit off-putting for me. So what I did was I just changed her recipe a teeny tiny bit by adding a little bit of cornstarch into my mixture. That cornstarch will make it a little bit thicker and firm it up a little bit, so it won't be as jelly-like in the center. Just whisk that, one bowl, one whisk, whisk it all together until it's a nice, thick, sugary mixture. Prepare your pie crust as directed. You can use my all butter pie crust recipe or use a refrigerated one. You're gonna use about two cups of pecans. A tip about pecans and pecan pie. If the pecans aren't fully coated in the mixture, they're gonna burn on top of the pie. So what I like to do is what I learned from my mom. I just pour the pecans in the bottom of the prepared pie crust and then I pour the filling over the top. And like magic, the pecans will just float to the top. They'll be all coated in that mixture and they won't burn. Add a pie shield or some foil strips to protect the crust from over browning. You're gonna bake it at 425 degrees for 10 minutes, then lower the temperature to 350 until the pie is puffed and golden. See how easy that was? A classic pecan pie only takes minutes to make. And look how gorgeous. It's perfect, it's perfect for Thanksgiving, it's perfect for a birthday. My daughter asks for this pie every year. She absolutely loves it, we all absolutely love it. It's a classic family tradition, and I hope that you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe to my channel and eat something sweet today.